I think it's important to know that facial recognition technology, for every face or anything that's scanned, there's probably a lot of humans behind it. As with any kind of you know artificial intelligence type of product, it's always powered by a human. So the misnomer is that facial recognition is something out of like Mission Impossible. When in fact, it's really just scanning your face and understanding where things are. So it understands where your eyes are, your nose, your mouth, and the distance within those different parts of your face. Think about uh, your iPhone. When you open that up, it recognizes your face because everybody has a unique set of features, and that is used as an identifier. It started off in the 1960s. Obviously, we've gone leaps and bounds since then, but it is something that has been around for quite some time. I think initially, it was just a computer taking a lot of pictures and humans identifying eyes versus nose versus mouth. Now that we have complex algorithms that can actually identify those for us, it's a little bit more accurate. However, there's always a human touch behind it. Computers are never perfect. And even when you talk about image recognition, you know, which is similar in vain, but yet very, very different, there are click farms of people, you know, all over the world basically identifying objects. That's all they do all day. And in fact, you know, sometimes when you have a security question, maybe you're hanging onto your bank and it tells you to identify all of the street signs that are in the photos, they're actually using you to train for image recognition and you don't even know it. I think there's a creepiness factor to just about everything in our lives. Like your iPhone, people are always thinking it's gonna be listening to you, but eventually, just as the younger generation now, like most three-year-olds will ask Alexa things. Alexa, please play some music. So it no longer becomes something that's scary. It's just something they grew up with. I think that as the generations grow and it becomes more inherent in everyday life, I think a lot of the fear of that will go away. A lot of retailers are using it um, to identify customers. There are some companies that you can sign up and get permission to do so, so that when you come into the store next time, it's a lot easier for you. I don't think it's much different than when you go to a store and you show a loyalty card or you have an email on file. That's all the same type of data they're storing. It's just a different manner of them doing it. Everything is personalized, right? That's the buzzword you're gonna hear all over marketing and advertising. How to make a connection with somebody. How do you speak to the person that you're trying to target? And it's always personalization. And this just takes it to another level where it's personalized, not just for maybe the category that you're in, but specifically for you.